try and speak into the it's hard can you hear me no. all right all right don't all rush me all right so i'm not really a part of uh posey's organization although i support it just by dint of having ovaries obviously not having ovaries in a medical sense let's not get into it but what I would like to say is I've come to this park for over a year to speak about the truth, which I care passionately about, which is Jesus, don't all start yawning. But God, if you believe in him, or if you just believe in the science of maybe 15 years ago, created men and women for specific purposes and we balance each other out, even if we don't find each other sexually attractive. Like we are, as women, um, denigrated. Boys have been, in my opinion, feminized over the years. Um, in some weird, like I don't know, an attempt to like make them socially acceptable human men. Uh, it doesn't always work, it doesn't work at all because men are men and boys will be boys, whether it's like popular or not, they just will, unless they're socialized in some sort of convent, I don't know. So, uh, having a mother, as we all do, a grandmother, aunties, sisters, I think it's important that women aren't taken out of literature about cervical cancer. I think that the reference of, um, I, I heard recently that an LGBT slash QP3, I don't know who they are, but they said that it's hate speech and transphobic to say that only women get cervical cancer. If everybody here can't see the ridiculousness of that statement, I would have said bollocks to them, but that may be transphobic also. And I'm a very retiring, shy person, so I mean, the testicular fortitude of these ladies in saying this <laughs> is outrageous. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers the story of the Emperor's New Clothes, but when I see grown, butch looking men with their testicles on display and full makeup reading stories to our children, and God bless them and please help them soon, mothers rushing to their defense when people go in and casually point out that this is like, you know, they. They have no place joining with the NSPCC, uh, Drag Queen Story Hour, if they want to tell stories to each other. I couldn't care less, if my life depended on it, what people do behind their own closed doors, in their own bedrooms, in their own supermarkets. If they want to walk around dressed up as the Queen of England, God bless you all, I don't care. But to be teaching children about gender, which is not a construct, it's a matter of biology. Scientists have all just quietly gone home because they're not really forthcoming in confrontational skills. But some of us have to be here to remind us that our daughters are our daughters. There's a six-year-old boy recently who's without his consent or like he couldn't comprehend it even if he wanted to fully. He's now going to become a girl um, and one of his parents at least is fully behind that and potentially mentally ill to, a, to an extreme degree. So I would say please do use the word girl and woman um, freely because it's a true thing. We aren't going anywhere. If we do, spoiler alert, men will not be born other than test tubes and uh, like, yeah, who needs all that crap? Also come to Jesus if you've got time because he loves you all and all that. Um, if you have any questions about the big JC, I'm your girl whilst I'm here. Don't stalk me around the place. And thank you very much to Posey who was just minding her own business at home like with her kids and that and all this just fell at her door. I don't think there's anything hateful about the dictionary. I haven't found it yet apart from the word hateful obviously. And uh, yeah like women, adult, human, females. Also for any Muslims listening as well uh, in the Quran where it tells you how to divorce a woman before her periods um, the word girl is a, a child of human origin who is female. So I'd just like to throw that out there. Thank you. Anyone else want to speak?